Hey, Team Numis Canada. That's what I call my subscribers. Hello, coin collectors, young and old, and anyone else that might be watching. Welcome to Numis Canada with Bruce. And today we have in front of us the 1973 quarter. And there are more than one variety of this because these two quarters, while they look the same on this side and they look very similar on the other side, they are not because one is the large bust and one is the small bust. And I will show you how to tell the difference in this video. So we'll be right back with that just after this. Welcome back. The tiara portrait commemorating the centennial of the founding of the RCMP in 1973. The special reverse on the 1973 25 cent piece commemorates the centennial of the founding of the Northwest Mounted Police, which later became the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. A new obverse with a smaller, more detailed portrait and fewer rim beads placed farther from the rim was prepared for use with the commemorative reverse. However, a small quantity of coins was struck with the 1972 obverse, creating two varieties for the year, and the quantity of the large variety bus struck for circulation is believed to not be more than 10,000. And now we will show you what is the best way to tell the difference between these, the large bust and the small bust. So the detail is not on this side of the coin, rather it is on this side of the coin. And what you will notice, and of course I will have photos for you, is the large bust, it, it is best to test to look at these side by side. So if you have a large bust or you think you have a large bust, take one that you know is not a large bust and compare it. Now on this one, which is the small bust and the more common quarter, the beads are further away from the edge of the rim than they are on this, the large bust. And as a matter of fact, if you look at these beads under a microscope, you could probably include another row of beads between them and these beads. Whereas with the large bust, the beads are right adjacent to the rim and no additional beads could be inserted between the beads and them. Now, the, the coin could have some wear and variations but there is two different ways to tell based on the hair because the hair on the small bust has much more detail with the queen's curls than this one does. And I will show you enlargements of those and you can go ahead and compare and I will show you the uh, so I will have side by side photos and show you where the curls are in in the queen's bust and show you where it is much less curly on the large bust. So you will look at the curls above the crown and the curls under the crown. Both are are. This is a we has less detail in this version of the queen and much more curls in this version of the queen. 
Now, if this coin is worn, then you may see fewer, fewer. So the other acid test is the rim, where you see the, how far the beads are from the edge. That's why there there's a two-factor authentication for ensuring that you have a large bust. So, how cool is that? I hope that this video has been helpful and I hope that you enjoyed seeing the difference between the large bust and the small bust on my favorite coin that I first collected when I was eight years old, the Mounty Quarter. And this is the entire set of coins from 1973 with a nickel, the dollar which commemorates Prince Edward Island joining Confederation, a penny, the half dollar with the old crest, the blue nose dime, and the Mounty quarter. How cool is that? I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe and keep on collecting.